like to worship Almighty God, whose purposes are good, whose power sustains the world he has made, who loves us, though we have failed in his service, who gave Jesus Christ for the light of the world, who by his Spirit leads us in his way. As we give thanks for his great works, we remember those who have lived and died in his service and in the service of others. We pray for all who suffer through war and are in need. We ask for his help and blessing, that we may do his will, and that the whole world may acknowledge him as Lord and King. Let us remember before God and commend to his sure keeping those who have died for their country in war, those whom we knew and whose memory we treasure, and all who have lived and died in the service of others. When you go home, tell them of us and say, For your tomorrows, we gave ours today.
almighty and eternal God, from whose love in Christ we cannot be parted, either by death or life. Hear our prayers and thanksgivings for all whom we remember this day. Fulfill in them the purpose of your love, and bring us all with them to your eternal joy, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Let us confess to God the sins and shortcomings of the world, its pride, its selfishness, its greed, its evil divisions and hatreds. Let us confess our share in what is wrong and our failure to seek and establish that peace which God wills for all his children. Most merciful God, we, we confess that we have sinned in thought, word and deed. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbours as ourselves. In your mercy, forgive what we have been. Help us to amend what we are and direct what we shall be, that we may do justly, love mercy, and walk humbly with you. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. May Almighty God have mercy upon you, pardon and deliver you from all your sins, confirm and strengthen you in all goodness, and keep you in life eternal. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. A reading from the first letter of Paul to the Thessalonians. But we know, do not want you to be uninformed, brothers and sisters about those who have died, so that you may not grieve as others do, who have no hope. For since we believe that Jesus died and rose again, even so through Jesus, God will bring with him those who have died. For this we declare to you by the word of the Lord, that we who are alive, who are left until the coming of the Lord, will by no means precede those who have died. For the Lord himself, with a cry of command, with the archangel's call and with the sound of God's trumpet, will descend from heaven and the dead in Christ will rise first. Then we who are alive, who are left, will be caught up in the clouds together with them to meet the Lord in the air. And so we will be with the Lord forever. Therefore, encourage one another with these words. Here ends the reading. A reading from the Gospel according to Matthew. Then the kingdom of heaven will be like this. Ten bridesmaids took their lamps and went to meet the bridegroom. Five of them were foolish and five were wise. When the foolish took their lamps, they took no oil with them, but the wise took flasks of oil with their lamps. As the bridegroom was delayed, all of them became drowsy and slept. But at midnight, there was a shout. Look, here is the bridegroom, come out to meet him. Then all those bridesmaids got up and trimmed their lamps. The foolish said to the wise, give us some of your oil for our lamps are going out. But the wise replied, no, there will not be enough for you and for us. You had better go to the dealers and buy some for yourselves. And while they went to buy it, the bridegroom came and those who were ready went with him to the wedding banquet and the door was shut. Later, the other bridesmaids came also saying, Lord, Lord, open to us. But he replied, truly, I tell you, I do not know you. Keep awake, therefore, for you know neither the day nor the hour. Here ends the reading. The response for the prayer today is God, give peace. Let us pray for all who suffer as a result of conflict and ask that God may give us peace. For the servicemen and women who have died in the violence of war, each one remembered and known to God. May God give peace.
God give peace. For those who love them in death as in life, offering the distress of our grief and the sadness of our loss, may God give peace. God give peace. For all members of the armed forces who are in danger this day, remembering family, friends, and all who pray for their safe return. May God give peace. God give peace. For civilian women, children and men, whose lives are disfigured by war or terror, calling to mind in penitence the anger and hatred of humanity. May God give peace. God give peace. For peacemakers and peacekeepers who seek to keep this world secure and free, may God give peace. God give peace. For all who bear the burden and privilege of leadership, political, military and religious, asking for gifts of wisdom and resolve in the search for reconciliation and peace. May God give peace. God give peace. O God of truth and justice, we hold before you those whose memory we cherish and those whose names we will never know. Help us to lift our eyes above the torment of this broken world and grant us the grace to pray for those who wish us harm. As we honour the past, may we put our faith in your future, for you are the source of life and hope, now and forever. Amen. As our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pledge ourselves anew to the service of God and our fellow human beings, that we may help, encourage and comfort others, and support those working for the relief of the needy and for the peace and welfare of the nations. Lord God our Father, we, we pledge ourselves to serve you and all humankind in the cause of peace for the relief of wanting and suffering, and for the praise of your name. Guide us by your Spirit. Give us wisdom. Give us courage. Give us hope. And keep us faithful now and always. Amen.
grants the living grace to the departed rest, and to all people, unity, peace, and concord, and to us and all God's servants, life everlasting. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you.